Jeanette has been continuously making race cars and road cars for 60 years. It was started in 1958 by four brothers, the Warplets, did a fantastic job. Their first car was called a G1 and we're now on the G60. The very first race car I drove was a Ginetta, a G27 on my birthday and I absolutely loved it. When I started my race teams and racing myself, we found that it was quite difficult to get what you wanted out of a road car into a race car. So it was perfect for me to, to buy Ginetta and start making my own cars. We make as much as we possibly can here in Garforth. If not, we try and outsource it in Yorkshire. When you buy a British car from a British manufacturer that's owned by a British guy, it is a British car. The starting car we have is the G40. It's got a 1.8 engine. We restrict that down a little bit for the junior car, and it just is the most fantastic racing you'll see anywhere. The G55 is the most successful car in GT4 that has ever been on the planet. It's 3.7, probably about 370 horsepower, runs on slicks, it's got aero, and it is just a hoot to drive. Top of the pile is our G58, which is a 6.2 litre V8, roughly 600 horsepower, only weighs about 900 kilos, shed loads of downforce, mad, mad fast. I absolutely love it. Ginette has pioneered all ranges of motorsport. We're the only company that does the ladder structure. So we take drivers from the 14 years old, we take guys out of the office, and we can offer them a step-by-step -step track through motor racing to the pinnacle of Le Mans. Nobody else in the world of motorsport can do that. So I was 14 when I first started uh, with Ginetta. I started in juniors, then went to Super Cup, uh, progressed until MP3 and, and now I race G58. It's an interesting feeling, especially when it's slippy and uh, you know you've got 600 horsepower underneath your right foot. I hope to race in Le Mans one day. That is my my ultimate dream now. You know, but I've got to be realistic. I've got to keep working, keep working hard behind the scenes, and uh, you know, hopefully it might come off one day. So we've just launched our LMP1 car at the Autosport Show, which is an amazing feat for a, a, a company the size of Ginetta. I always knew that technically we could do this and so in the second week in June we'll be heading down to Le Mans challenging for an outright victory. What lies ahead for us is just to do what we're doing now but just keep doing it a little bit better. We're not going to see a step change in Ginetta making a thousand cars or two thousand cars. We want to make no more than 300, keep them all handmade, keep them really special and I think that's a good way forward.